Hi, my name is Matt, and recently my mom asked me to make her some new drumsticks. Now, I could whiz out and use oak dowels, but, I mean, walnut's just so pretty. Now, once you get this in the chuck, it's time to start turning. I'm going to start at the back end and turn into the chuck, making shearing cuts. And every time that I adjust my tool rest, I want to create a stop, so that way I don't get massive splinters. Now once I get the thickness plotted out, I can start making just slow shearing cuts try and get everything to a uniform thickness. And I just want to turn down a little bit more than making these three fourths of an inch round. After I get the majority of the thickness done with shearing cuts, I can move over to carbide tools to really get a nice fi surface finish at various points that were more difficult. And throughout this process, I'm just comparing this to another drumstick to use as reference. Now once I'm done with the handle, I just need to work on the ends and the tip. Just get it to a good size and a good nub. And again, I can just compare this to the drumstick if I have any issues. And once I have the handle done well, I can work on the back end and get it looking pretty. Then you can proceed to just sand everything. And I sand it really hard, starting off with 80 grit and moving all the way up to 600. And because sanding can create a lot of friction, which makes things really hot to hold, I like using a piece of leather as backing. Whenever I'm essentially turning things between centers, and especially if it's really thin, I like to apply pressure from the back end. That way it doesn't end up snapping into while I'm turning. It is important to note that while you do want to turn down the butt to make it have a nice surface finish at the end, you don't want to turn away too much where it's going to snap before you actually finish sanding. Here I'm noticing there's a small defect in the wood and I'm trying to sand it out. Now after trying and failing at this for multiple times, I end up looking and seeing that it's just a small dot. And I'm nearly done, just finishing off with my final grit. Now it's time to apply a finish. Now I like using paste wax for this, so I'm just putting some on the leather and I'm just smearing some onto the wood and then I just do a nice slow finish, just kind of buff it out a little bit using the leather. I made the second hat one of these and this is the end result. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and if you could leave a comment that would really help me out. Thank you and goodbye.